Now at this point of Drake's career, he has had his fair share of rap battles. He's done battled everyone from Jay-Z, Kanye West, Pusha T, and even the infamous battle with Meek Mill. But today I don't want to discuss any of those beats that we've regurgitated and went through over and over again. I probably will on another video. Today I really want to get into what seems to be Drake's first battle after he came in the game with Common. Y'all know Common Ball dudes fresh out of Chicago, legendary MC. And by this point, Common has had his fair share of battles. He's been in the game a way longer time than Drake. So today I want to discuss exactly how this started, the records that it spawned, and how it all ended. Shout out to all the yo yas on the east side. It's your boy KD. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Now in 2012, Drake is the new up and coming artist. By this point, he has his second album out already. But obviously with Take Care, since it was such a heavily R&B influenced album, people were kind of calling Drake soft and they had all types of jokes about Drake being soft and a little pussy, little bitch, emotional, all this type of shit because of the album. And by the way, Take Care might be my favorite Drake album out of his whole catalog. But that's besides the point. Around this same time, Common is dropping his ninth album, The Dreamer. And on that album, he has a song called Sweet. And on that song, it seems like he's saying a few things that could be targeted at hip hop's soft guy at the moment, Drizzy Drake. Now obviously Common doesn't say nobody's name on this, but the speculation was running wild that this song was indeed about Drake. So Drake goes on stage in Las Vegas and he says, I might sing, but I ain't no bitch. If Common got something to say, say it to my face. Real spicy for the boy Drake at that time. So after Drake says this on stage, Common has an interview with Sway in the Morning. And in this interview, he kind of does confirm that it was about Drake. Okay, all right, so you, you're inviting Drake in the battle ring. I mean, if he, hey, he, he, he opened his mouth and said some things. So uh -huh. if he want, if that's what he want, then say what, all that subliminal, you could do that too, but you might as well say it now. Yeah. yeah. Now you said this is towards Drake and then whoever else wanted? Yeah, I mean, I, the verses is like about me, but then, you know, when you hear some of the stuff on the chords, it's like, you can't help but think about, dude, I guess that, and that's what he felt like. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, he fit in that category. He already embraced it, so wear it. Yeah. Wow. Turn it up. To me, this was, this was mad random because it was like Common is coming at Drake. I feel like Common always gets that when he disses somebody because I know this also happened with Ice Cube. But this was a whole different era because it was also Drake. Drake wasn't known at this point to really be getting into any serious rap beef. So it just looked weird seeing Common choosing his opponent to be Drake. It's not like we looked at Common as like the toughest guy in the game. And so it was just a weird dynamic to see Common really coming at Drake for this. So after Common confirms that these shots were directed at Drake, 40 actually went on Twitter and talks about how it was being a Common fan back in the day. He writes, I remember being called a bitch in grade nine cause I had your CD. Good thing I also had four, five, six by Cool G Rap on me. After One Day It All Makes Sense came out, I spent months arguing whether or not Common was hip hop. Everyone was saying it was too r and I'm not dissing, just facts. I love Common, I also love SWV and John B. And I think right here, 40 is really trying to make the correlation that people were coming at Common for similar things that they're coming at Drake for now. But it was not long after that Drake decides to finally respond on Wax. Not mentioning Common by name. To me, this is one of Drake's best diss verses in his whole catalog. Listen to that Stay Scheming classic song classic record and a classic verse delivered by the boy Drake it bothers me when the gods get to acting like the broads guess every team doesn't come complete with niggas like ours that's why I see no need to compete with niggas like y'all I ask them when you see me you speak up nigga that's all 
Don't be ducking like you never wanted nothing. It's feeling like rap change. There was a time it was rugged. Back when if the nigga reached, it was for the weapon. Nowadays, niggas reach just to sell their records. Spaghetti bowling years in the polo lounge. Me and my chief from DC, that's how I roll around. Might look like, but we heavy though. You think Drake will pull some shit like that, you never know. Million dollar meetings in the polo lounge. Me and my man Oliver North, that's how I roll around. Shorty wanna tell me secrets about a rap nigga. I tell that bitch it's more attractive when you hold it down. I'm just hitting my pinnacle, you and pussy identical You like the fucking finish line, we can't wait to run into you I always love Drake's cleverness to diss somebody Without even naming them on the record Cause if you look at Back to Back A song that is really tearing Meek up He never once mentions Meek's name And I do like that where you can kinda diss somebody And not really give that person's name any light And honestly this Stay Scheming verse Let a lot of us know in the game that Drake was bad already I know Drake had his local beef prior to this But this was Drake really in the big leaves for the first time And he came out firing honestly I really fuck with this verse This verse really showed the masses That Drake was nothing to be played with so not long after this, Common responds to Drake and comes out with his own remix to Stay Scheming. This response to me was cool, but it really didn't hit as hard as what Drake had. It was a lackluster response in my opinion. Y'all might feel different. Y'all let me know in the comments. But I really wasn't fucking with Common's response compared to the classic verse that we got from Drake. My motto is... Everybody know you're sweet, what the problem is Don't play dumb, I'm the one that acknowledged it Son of a bitch, I imagine what your father is She said, how you make your opponent The rapper of the moment, the style, he don't own it Acting all hard when he hardly like that You gon' mess around and make me catch a body like that oh. Don't do it, cause every song you make, Joe, is really whole music I heard you said you wasn't a bitch cause you sing You a bitch cause you cling like a bitch that's 18 Can't say my name but rap about a nigga's wife You so black and white trying to live a nigga's life I'm taking too long with this amateur guy You ain't wet nobody nigga, you Canada dry Yo, he told them he ain't never wet nobody He's Canada dry I get it, it was a dope line But to me, what Drake was saying on his verse was just 10 times better than anything Common spit on that verse. Now Drake obviously alleged that Common really did enter this beef in order to sell records for his album The Dreamer but it looked like it might have been a little bit deeper than that. Common's girlfriend was Serena Williams. Now after Serena Williams and Common break up Drake starts dating her after which Common admits is the reason that he ended up dissing Drake. I think that was a, for me, I think it was an emotional thing, like meaning I was feeling like it, at that time, I think it was the Drake, Serena situation. I didn't know what was going on with that. That was, the, you know, and I didn't know if he was throwing things, shots at me, like, you know, this is my, my ex and, you know, we kind of, on our, on our, like, going our separate ways and, you know, so it was Unfortunately, the war might have been over a girl, even though at the time I never said that. But it wasn't totally that. It was just more or less like, do, kind of like, man, do you respect me? Because I, you know, I actually like you as an artist. That's what I was thinking about Drake. Now, fortunately, before this beef could get off wax and into the streets, Common and Drake ended up meeting up at a basketball game and cleared the air. And I don't think anybody thought it was gonna get crazier than that. I enjoyed the verses that was being put out because the, the actual song Sweet from Common is really dope. To me, the response that Drake had on Stay Scheming is really dope. The lackluster comes from Common's response on the Stay Scheming, in my opinion. But it did give us some great verses. So I did enjoy this beef. And a lot of people do tend to forget about the Common and Drake saga. That's how you know there's been a lot of Drake and good music banter back and forth because he's technically had an issue with almost every single body on that roster. But y'all let me know in the comments, man. What do you guys think about the drama that Drake and Common had back in the day? Do you guys even remember about this beef? I know me personally, 
I was just listening to Stay Scheming and I was like, oh shit, this was about Common. So y'all let me know in the comments. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here.